Every single year without fail, Apple reserves their best features for the Pro lineup. The iPhone 13 Pro is currently the phone to buy if you want the absolute best Apple has to offer. The question is, with around 7 months to go until the iPhone 14 is released, should you buy this phone now or should you wait? Right, so I really want to talk about four main things in this video, and that is the iPhone 13 Pro's display, camera, screen, and performance. Now, I purchased this phone on release date last year, so I have seen this screen in person for quite a while, and I'm still shocked at how good the display actually is. If you're somebody who's into having a good screen, this is definitely a phone that you're going to want. Apple did save its 120 hertz refresh rate for the Pro lineup this year. And if you're someone who really cares about refresh rate and can see a big difference, then this is the phone to go for. In person, it is a smooth, great looking display. Color accuracy is on point as always with iPhones. There's not really much else to say when it comes to the screen. It really is just a great display. I was worried when I first got the phone that this new 120Hz refresh rate would negatively impact the iPhone's battery life, but I'll talk about that further on in the video. The next thing I want to talk about is the iPhone 13 Pro's main selling point, or at least the main selling point in my opinion, and that is the camera. I genuinely think, and I have said this before in previous videos, that the 13 Pro's camera is probably one of the best camera systems that you can buy on any phone right now. Now that's not to say that other phones may, for example, take a single picture in a certain lighting condition better. My point here is that overall, if you include picture quality and video quality, the iPhone 13 system is really hard to compete with. You're getting the three lenses with the iPhone 13 Pro, as opposed to just two if you go for the iPhone 13 or the iPhone 13 mini, and that means that you're gaining that telephoto lens. So if you're someone who's really into zooming in and getting close-up shots, then that telephoto lens you're really going to enjoy. The reason why I say the iPhone 13's main selling point is the camera is because I think that's the main difference between the 13 and the 13 Pro, and also the main difference between the 13 Pros this year compared to the Pros last year. It seems like Apple have really invested a lot of time improving their cameras this year. Now I've said in previous videos, if you're not somebody who's really into photography, the camera system on the iPhone 13 and 13 mini are some of the best camera systems that I've used. They're more than enough for most people, but if you are really into photography and you rely on your iPhone to take photos or videos, then you're going to love the 13 Pro. Obviously the 13 Pro Max with a similar camera system is gonna be a good option as well if you want that bigger display. Being able to shoot in Pro Raw and Pro Res, if that is something that you're really interested in, then you're only getting that with the 13 Pro and the 13 Pro Max. You lose it if you go for the 13 Mini or regular 13. So yeah, overall great camera system and I would recommend it over any other phone that I have personally tested. I am hearing that the S22 Ultra has a really good camera system on that phone, so I'm gonna have to wait to see what that looks like in person before I decide which one I think is better. Okay, so moving on to battery life, and this was something that I was slightly worried about purely because because of the new 120Hz refresh rate that comes on the 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max. Now obviously having that 120Hz refresh rate may impact battery life, but it seems like Apple have done some really good work in this area because the battery life on the 13 Pro, and especially the 13 Pro Max, is actually really, really good. So considering how good the display is in these phones, the battery life is holding up very well. And even after months of use, I've noticed no real change in how good the battery life has been. Again, if battery life is, is really important to you, then the 13 Pro or 13 Pro Max, they're great devices to go for. Now, the last thing I wanted to talk about was performance, and the real reason I wanted to mention this in the video is because I feel like a lot of people around this kind of time of year are thinking, should they wait to get the iPhone 14 because of that performance increase that will inevitably come as it does every single year. But the reality is the performance in the 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max is so good that 
it's very rare somebody will use one of these phones and not be happy with the performance. If you're somebody worried that the iPhone 14 is gonna be really fast and the iPhone 13 Pro isn't quick enough, that isn't gonna be an issue at all. And if you're thinking about buying an iPhone 13 Pro now, I would just go for it, unless you care about design. As the rumors stand right now, this is what the iPhone 14 Pro may look like. Now from what I've heard, Apple are planning on spending a lot more effort in redesigning the phone this year as opposed to making any major improvements elsewhere. So the title of this video, should you wait to buy the iPhone 13 Pro or should you just go ahead and buy it right now if you're interested? My answer is basically this. If you need a new phone and you care about having a good camera, great battery life, a nice screen, then the iPhone 13 Pro is perfect for you. However, if you're someone who really cares about the design of the iPhone and you want to have the latest from Apple, then I would personally wait the seven months until that new iPhone 14 comes out with the new design and then go for that. The main point that I really wanted to make in this video was that if you're looking at buying an iPhone 13 Pro now, you shouldn't be worried about potentially missing out on loads of features come September because there aren't gonna be that many major improvements. It's a great iPhone and it clearly is one of the best phones out there today. And if you're somebody who can't wait those six or seven months for the iPhone 14 to come out, then I can definitely say you will 100% be happy with the 13 Pro. Anyway, this is a video that I wanted to make purely to start a conversation about whether or not the 13 Pro is worth purchasing right now or whether you should wait until the iPhone 14 comes out. If you're still watching the video up until now, thank you. I really do appreciate it. If you're feeling like being really awesome, then smash that subscribe button. And as always, I'll catch you guys in one of my next videos.